Hey guys, today's video is going to be a project pan finale. This was finish six by May, but then turned into finish eight by May project pan. And I'm really happy with my progress on this project. I have several empties and I met my goal on other items. So I'm excited to share this with you. If you are new, please subscribe. I upload four videos a week. I do a lot of project panning and shopping my stash. I'm currently on a no buy and I need to update the no buy very soon as well. I've got a lot of videos I need to film. So check out the project pan playlist if you want to see more and let's get into this. There was one item in this project that I was so close to finishing. Um, I'm a little frustrated with it, but that is okay. I'm actually going to keep working on it. And that is this lip liner. This is from the brand Beauty Vault and it's the color Cozy Kyra. I got this in BoxyCharm several years ago when I had BoxyCharm. Um, I haven't had it since 2020. So it's been a while. So let me show you the progress on this piece of paper. So I was all the way up here and I'm all the way down to here. Look how little of this I have left. And I've talked about this in other updates that this part is becoming very, very soft and it's hard to sharpen. Um, so this time I sharpened it and I'm wearing it today, but I barely got one use out of it before it like squished back down. So I don't think there's a lot of product left. I'm going to keep working on this. I really, really want to finish it. One of my big project panning goals for the year is to finish more lip liners and to finish as many lip products as possible. So I'm going to keep working on this. Obviously there's hardly anything left. I'm very happy with my progress on that. So, you know, I'm still counting that as a win. All right. Um, I finished this lip gloss. This is technically the ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil in Cosmic Click. And as you can see, this is completely empty. I removed the stopper and this, I mean, I cleaned this out, guys. There is nothing left here. Um, you know, I actually, I do like these ColourPop lip oils. I decluttered some of them because I feel like they had hardly any pigment at all. This one was definitely not as hot pink as it looked in the tube. It was more sheer, but it was a really pretty shade. And I'm actually wearing a different ColourPop lip oil that's in another project pan right now. I really like them. I think they're nice. And wow, look at this. I'm so impressed with how well I cleaned that out. So that one is very exciting. The next item I added in at the last update, that is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which is the eye primer that I wear every single day. And obviously I'm wearing this today. Um, so let me show you a comparison photo. Uh, I don't know how much difference you will see, to be honest. But yeah, like I said, I wear this every single day. Now this, I wonder if I could finish. I mean... I don't know. There's a lot of product in here, but I'm really happy with my progress on this. And it's, it's a great eye primer. And I do like that it adds like a bit of coverage because sometimes I just wear this on its own without eyeshadow if I'm in a hurry and it kind of like covers up any, you know, veins or whatever on my eyelids. So I do really enjoy this. And my eyeshadow creases terribly without eye primer. And this one actually works for me. A lot of eye primers I've tried don't necessarily keep my eyeshadow from creasing, but this one works. So I'm pretty excited about that. I actually do have two more empties. Um, first, let me talk about one that I've made progress, but I haven't finished it. That is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Sun Kissed Face Primer. It's pretty opaque packaging. I mean, I can kind of see that there are air gaps in here now and there weren't previously. Um, so I don't have a great comparison to show you on this one, but trust me, I've been using it regularly. This is one that has a bit of self tanning properties to it. And if I use it several days in a row, I actually do notice that it's very subtle. Then part of me was like, you know, if I really want to use this up, I could use this on my body as self tanner, which I don't really do that very much. Um, but I guess it's an option. Something that I've started to do with this is actually put some on my neck because I was noticing that if I used it several days in a row, it was actually giving my face a bit of a tan. And usually I only put primer here. So then my face was getting kind of tan and then my neck was not. So now I put a little bit of this on my neck too. I'm going to keep working on this one. Um, this may, maybe I'll put it in another project pan. I'm not sure. I recently started the graveyard project pan. 
and then soon I'll need to update the partners in cream. This one I could technically put in partners in cream too. Maybe I'll do that actually. That's kind of what I'm thinking because right now this is the only primer that I'm project panning. So yeah, but I have made progress and I do like it. It's a good primer. It's pore filling, keeps my makeup on longer, keeps it from creasing. So, you know, it's a good primer. I don't know that I need the self tanning properties because like I said, I don't really use self tanner. Um, but you know, it's fine. It doesn't bother me. Okay. Next up is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Corsage. My goal was just to use this 10 times which I think I used it more than that. I think I used it 12 times. This is a very pretty like silvery green shade. Um, it's very lovely. I'll show you a swatch. I actually used it a lot on the inner corner too. It was really nice for that. Very, very pretty shade. I'm really getting back into using ColourPop Super Shock shadows. Um, I've been trying to get more use out of the ones that I have. And then the other one that I had in this project was a ladybird. And this one I'm wearing as an inner corner highlight. So this one, I did not set a usage goal. I just said to kind of use it as much as I can, which I actually used it a decent amount. Um, this one has a lot of sparkle. So I really like this one for the inner corner. Like I said, that's mostly how I've used it. Um, yeah. And I put some other uh, ColourPop Super Shock shadows into the graveyard project pan and I'm just excited to be getting more use on them because it's, it's kind of a neglected product for me, but I really, really like them. They are really nice. So those are awesome. I'm glad I got use on those. And then the last two items are empties. I finished another gloss. Like I said, big goal of mine is to use up as many lip products as possible this year. This is the Sigma gloss in glazed and I took the stopper out of this too. I scraped everything out. This one, by the end of it, so this has little shimmers in it. By the end of it, I feel like a lot of the little shimmers had maybe gotten stuck at the bottom. So there were more than there had been in the rest of the gloss. And then you could kind of feel them on your lips. They started to feel gritty. So I definitely don't like that. Um, when I first started using the gloss, you know, it wasn't gritty but then I just think the shimmers kind of accumulate at the bottom. So this gloss is a fail. I definitely wouldn't buy that. I got this in PR from Sigma several years ago. Um, so yeah, would not repurchase or purchase to begin with. Um, okay, and then last up, I finished a foundation, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. Now I do have another one of these because I had bought it myself and then I got it in PR as well. This was the shade Light 50W, and here were some progress marks. And yes, I did. I scraped this all out. It's been kind of sitting in a bag for a while. But yeah, I'm really happy that I used this up. I really like this. Like I said, this is something I bought myself, and then I got it in PR. It's a really good foundation, medium coverage. It's hydrating, but it still lasts all day. I have pretty normal skin. Also, this shade matched me really well. So... I'm pretty happy about that. I can't complain. I'm excited about the progress I've made on this project, guys. Um, so I had three empties, which was the foundation and then two lip glosses. How awesome is that? And then I met my goal on the Super Shock Shadow. This one, I didn't set a solid goal, but I got use out of it, which was good enough. And then of course the lip liner. Gosh, I'm so close on this. So this for sure, I'm going to just keep working on. Um, I don't even know how much use I'll be able to get out of it since it's just kind of not sharpening as well. Um, but this banana bright primer, I'm hoping to probably put this in another project pan. So that is it for this finale. I am very excited. It's kind of fun to wrap up a project pan. It really is. And I'm excited that I did start a new one, the graveyard project pan. So if you didn't see that, check it out. Also, I've got a whole project pan playlist and stay tuned because I need to do an empties video and I need to do my no buy finale slash update video. So yeah, stay tuned for more. If you are new, please subscribe. And if you want to see more exclusive content from me, I do have a channel membership option. You can check the description box for more information on that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know how your project pans are doing and have a great day.